Day 43 of the 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. Part 2 of a two part series. Okay, top of the shock on the passenger side of the 71. There's the top. Put this disc on first. Then this rubber disc right here. And you want this side up, this side down because this fits right into this area right here quite nicely. It snugs that up. And with that like that, then this goes on through there like so. Then you take this rubber piece and since that's the big hole down there, see how that fits right in like so? And this goes and pinches like that. Then you're going to put another disc on there. So what you've got basically is a sandwich. you got this. This is the bread. These are the burgers. <laughs> this is the bottom. You put a burger on. You put your uh, shock tower support on. Put another burger. And then you put the, the bread on top. Big bolt goes first. Like so. And then there's a second locking bolt which you can see used right there. And we're going to check this height because those things are sticking up pretty high. We're going to make sure they don't make contact with the hood. If they do, we're going to be trimming the top of those bolts. Mm -hmm. I'd, be, I'd be surprised if we have to because this is what was specced for the car. So I'm just going to crank down on them and now we're tightening up those. The shock tower support goes on after you've placed the, sh uh, the shock support. So then I'll be placing this support onto here and placing the bolts on there. I won't have a free hand, so I'll show this to you after I've gotten them. Uh... If you see the Mustang Medic truck out there, please say hello. I'd love to talk to you. Okay, bottom of the shock is secured. And what we did was we put a small wrench on this little notch right here and snug this down. Now. We put the second uh, nut on, and this locks in position. And we did the same thing for this one. This one's already locked up. So this completes the front end. Sway bar, steering box, steering arm, shock towers, front shocks, and we're going to move to the back get the rear shocks on and we are about to go full on engine focus with Justin and final body work on this fender which is coming together nicely or quarter panel for that matter and we just love these rims gotta say it again gorgeous if you appreciate our efforts to educate, please send a donation for the cause via PayPal. Our PayPal email address is paypal at mustangmedic.com. Guys, we got the shot back shock lined up, but we are looking at this plate, and the angle is extreme. It is not making sense to us. We're starting to wonder if these rear shock um, supports are from a different car because the angle is just so extreme. I mean, look at that. See that? It does not look right. So let me know if you get if anybody out there has got a seventy-one uh, to seventy-three fastback Mustang or even a coupe, please send us email us a picture of what your bracket looks like that holds on the rear shock. I don't think this is right. So I'm going to do some investigation and see what's going on. The top of the shock lines up properly in there, but the bottom of the shock. Is just an extreme angle. Let me know what you guys think. I'm very suspicious that these are not the correct plates 
and that we're going to have to find them. So we're looking into it. Let me know if you got an opinion on this. We're holding on the back shocks to figure out why that angle is so strange. Look for the link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com. Mustang